question for you this morning. Did you feel it? I know you were talking about it in the newsroom earlier this morning, but you know, I was asleep, so. Yeah, I have friends in San Angelo that felt it. I okay. didn't feel it personally, uh, at least here in Waco, but it, it was felt across a large part of the state. Here's officially where it is. You can see our earthquake tracker here. 5.1 magnitude earthquake, but the thing is it was a deep one, five miles deep. So it was felt across a larger part of the area, and it was actually part of a series of earthquakes that's happened over the last two months or so north of I-20 there between Midland and La Mesa. And here's where it was felt. And if this map doesn't work out to step off briefly, there it is. The reports of where it was felt. You can see those uh, bluer colors where these little zip codes are highlighted. That's where folks have reported to the USGS that it was felt. And you can see it was felt across a large part of the state, including some portions of central Texas where it was felt in parts of uh, Laguna Park back over to the south side of Bell County over towards Williamson County and even in the Brazos Valley. So a big earthquake that happened here, at least by Texas standards. Compare it to California, it's not really a huge one. But Texas is no stranger to earthquakes. In fact, the fault that we lie on in central Texas, the Balcones Fault, this is why you see the hills develop west of 35, used to be a very active fault. Now it's dormant, thankfully, or we'd have a lot of earthquakes. But certainly a different occurrence of what we tend to see here in Texas and certainly something that shook many folks across the Lone Star State. The Live Radar Network showing you that things otherwise are quiet here in Texas. We're dealing with temperatures in the upper 60s, lower 70s now in Central Texas. Those dew points very similar but not seeing as much of an issue with the fog or the condensation as what we saw yesterday. It is going to be another hot one though. Upper 60s to start the day will be in the mid 80s by noon, mid 90s this afternoon. Feel like numbers could reach into the upper 90s so get ready for another hot one and the heat is going to continue through the rest of the work week. We'll look at that 10 day forecast coming up. You now I hear a big boom and then I felt the house shake and I was like, what was that? So I immediately ran out of my bedroom and, I, and everybody's like freaking out. We well, you just heard from a resident in Deer Park, Texas, near the Houston area. This morning, she and other residents are picking up the pieces after a massive fire erupted from a pipeline causing.